Hi. So as a photographer, I've always been curious about what the best printing method is. Should you print on paper, cardboard, metal? Inside these boxes, I printed out 24 of my Tiny Planet photos on canvases this big from my local office supplies store. And you know how much it costs per photo and per canvas? $40. So in this video, I thought it'd be cool to see whether you can actually get a decent looking print on a canvas. And yes, as you can see, I've already started. I got a bit too excited. Ooh, look at that. It's actually quite big, isn't it? I can't believe I paid 40 US dollars for these. Ooh. Nice. How good does this one look? Wow. I was thinking I could sort them by color temperature. So I have all the warmer, yellower prints on that side and the bluer ones on that side. This is for my new YouTube background, by the way. I can't believe I'm on my third YouTube backdrop. I remember my first one was in the studio apartment I was living in and my bed was literally behind me and I had to cover it up using a long lens so you wouldn't see my bed and all my personal possessions. Then the second one was the front room of my house when I first moved out with my girlfriend and I covered that one with $2 prints from the exact same store I bought these canvases from except they were way smaller and kind of annoying because they were shiny and they'd also peel off the wall and it didn't really end up looking the way I was hoping in my head. Now I've moved to a much bigger and better place but I've got my own office now my own studio then I'm going to cover these canvases in and they're also good because they're not shiny I was getting a lot of reflections with the previous photos whereas these ones kind of just absorb the light so what do I think of the print quality well it's not bad it's not the best and it's not the worst but what I can say is it's much better than what I expected to get for 40 bucks here I'll put it up really close to the camera yeah you can see a bit of detail there if you get too close it does start looking a bit pixelated, but from a distance, I'd say this is like two to three feet, you're probably not gonna notice. And this one here did start as a really high quality photo. I took this with my DJI Mavic Air when I was in Iceland. Whereas I do have others in my collection, like this one, that was taken on my very first 360 camera, the Theta M15, and the quality is garbage. Look at that, no definition whatsoever but I guess that's not really the fault of the canvas, it's the fault of the photographer. And this was my very first 360 photo, by the way. I took it about five years ago, had no idea what I was doing. Then I edited it together, put it on Instagram, and got a world record nine likes on it, yay! By the way, to state the obvious about what I'm doing, yes, it's another tiny planet wall with a homage to my very first wall, which was 2001 A Space Odyssey. There you can see the star child, and on this side, there's Hell 9000. When life gives you lemons, print them on a canvas. All right, so now I'm gonna start curating them, make sure they all look good next to one another and that the colors complement each other. Kind of like an Instagram grid. And we're done. That is looking pretty sweet. This right here is about $200 worth of sticky strips. Now let's hang. How good does that look? I'll obviously control the light a lot better when I do future YouTube videos, but yeah, I'm so happy with this. This is probably going to be the background that is my definitive background that I'll still have years from now. So this is the very first video that you saw it in. Back to the quality, and I'm actually pretty happy with these. They're not noticeably soft or anything. And especially from back here, you're not gonna notice any kind of blurriness or pixelation. I've also found the color accuracy to be pretty decent. These colors are almost identical to what I was seeing on my computer screen. And look, yes, this is definitely a budget-friendly printing method, but I honestly have very few complaints about this. I'm not even on a budget, and I found this to be a really good way to print out my work and cover my entire wall. And if you're one of those photographers that gets out a microscope and looks for any form of blurriness and says, this photo is garbage, then yeah, I probably wouldn't advise getting canvas prints because they're not that sharp. But if you've ever had the idea to print out a whole bunch of your photos and hang them on the wall, then I'd a thousand percent recommend trying something like this. It doesn't really matter where you buy it from. I just got mine from my local office supply store, which is called Officeworks, but I'm sure you've got an equivalent in your country. I'm honestly really, really happy with these. So yeah, 
I think that's about it. If you have any questions about printing on canvases, let me know down in the comments. Oh, and in case you missed it in my previous video, if you want to learn how to make Tiny Planet photos like these ones here, I'm now giving away my ebook, A Beginner's Guide to Tiny Planet Photography, completely free. It used to be a paid product, now it's free. So you can download that in the link in the description. And that's it. Subscribe and stuff, and yeah, I'll see you next time.